Hi, I'm Nathaniel Landy. I'm the author of The Ten Best of Everything. It's a bestseller for National Geographic books. The best 10 wines, best 10 destination restaurants, best 10 swimming pools, best 10 boutique hotels, best 10 things to do on a Sunday afternoon in 20 different cities. One of the selections is Viking River Cruises. They're at the top of their game. I think you'll like them. I'd like to introduce you to Karina Hagen. She's very special. Here she is backstage at the ballet. One of the most beautiful parts of Russia has to be the ballet. We're backstage rehearsing for tonight's performance of Swan Lake. After you've seen this, you should truly appreciate the ballet. Many children here dream of becoming ballet dancers and start dance classes as early as the age of four. The graceful pirouettes and precise acrobatic leaps seem effortless, yet the profession is incredibly demanding. The dancers put in countless hours of rehearsal daily, pushing their bodies towards an elusive goal, perfection. And when the curtain rises, every bit of the effort was well worth it. Russia is a country synonymous with ballet, which blossomed as entertainment for the royal court in the mid-1700s. Catherine the Great was such an avid patron that she had a personal theater built in her winter palace to entertain guests after dinner. Today, Russian dancers continue to be the most sought after in the world, just as the icons Diaghilev, Pavlova, Nureyev, and Baryshnikov were before them. Equally well known are Russia's elegant venues, the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow, and the Marinsky Theatre in St. Petersburg. Both are magical settings for enjoying the fairy tale on stage. The ballet is a truly inspiring art form, and no trip to Russia would be complete without experiencing it. <laughs> 